I'm Ezra Smith. I'm a designer based out of Wickford, Rhode Island. And uh, this is the Vela Project. The windows, uh, or the port lights, weren't really in the original design. Um, we contemplated some windows and actually some New York 30S looking windows, but sort of dismissed it as not really fitting age appropriately with the boat since the New York 30 was a much older design than, than the Graves. However, when Dan was patterning the house sides, in an unintended way, he put little vertical strips and his pattern accidentally made four windows in the cabin house and they look great. You know, Ezra spotted it and said, you know, maybe we really should look at those windows. I looked at Mike and I looked at Dan and I said, this would look really great with windows, wouldn't it? Ezra took some time to draw them and it was tough because the main bulkhead was already determined and the cabin length was determined. So he had to make four windows, which were all different sizes, but worked together aesthetically. And he really sweat the details on that. And then he worked with Dan to make sure that they were buildable. And Dan was so excited by the project, he says, you got to do this. Dan had obviously already been thinking along those lines. He said, yes, yes, we have to do the Hershoff New York 30 letterbox windows with beveled glass and absolutely. And they are just so cool. I think it's going to be one of the most distinctive parts of the boat. carbon beam was uh, probably the single biggest piece of scope creep on the project, but also probably one of the most important things to improving the down below. I'm Matt Smith. I'm a naval architect from Barrington, Rhode Island, and Ezra and Mike contacted me because they wanted to eliminate the bulkhead underneath the mast, and so in order to handle the mast compression, we had to engineer a heavy beam directly underneath it. When we figured the new mass loads, I was able to calculate that the mass had about 4,500 pounds of compression, and the best way to handle that is to lay up a carbon beam. So what Brendan with Waterman Marine did is they made a mock-up of the underside of the cabin top and cabin trunks, and he was able to lay up the carbon beam on the bench right side up instead of trying to do it upside down inside the boat. Then the beam got bonded into the cabin trunk sides and along with the cabin top beams before the cabin top was planked up with plywood. So while we lengthened the cockpit, we, we actually shrunk the cabin house. But the carbon main beam enabled us to open up the entire boat so it actually seems bigger inside than the old boat did. And it was just such an instrumental part of tying the whole project together. Mm -hmm. 